Hi, I'm Andy Pearson and I'm here with Claudia Winkleman to show you how to make some great tea cocktails as part of Twining's Take 10 campaign. So, these recipes are going to be very, very simple so that you can make them at home when you're relaxing, either by yourself or with friends. And I'm also going to show you how to do a non-alcoholic version so you can drink it anytime you want, really. Claudia? I think you're very clever. Do you promise that this isn't complicated? I always think cocktails, that's going to take me an hour. I absolutely promise. Okay. If, you, if, you, if you've only got a short amount of time for yourself, this is up to me. You can do really quickly, really easily, and it tastes fantastic. So I can take ten and make a cocktail? You can. Check me Absolutely. out. Okay, what, what are we doing? Right, what you need to do is grab this, which is your Boston glass. glass. Okay. Okay. Put it on there. And we're going to stick some orange blossom hun honey into there. All right. All right. So, this stuff. Okay. What we're going to do is just put a couple of teaspoons in, so yeah. about ten millilitres. All right. Okay. Use any honey you want, really, but as long as it's runny, because you want it to dissolve. Lovely. Pop that in there. Okay. As I say, you don't have to be too precious about it, just throw it in. We're going to pour in some um, pear flavoured vodka, all right? Delish. So we need 35 mils of that, and what this will do is this will help to start the honey to dissolve, okay? So you just fill that and throw it in. Okay. Your turn. There you go. Okay. Aren't you clever? Hold on. Do you Try uh, this put. Oh, oh, there you go. oh! That is. I'm going to think I'm exaggerating, but that was enormous fun, wasn't it? Cocktails are fun. Okay. And then just give it a bit of a stir like that. What this will do, this will start to dissolve the honey. And yeah. And just make sure that all the honey goes into the drink at the end when we shake it. It doesn't just sit at the bottom of your glass. That would be revolting. Wouldn't it just? Yes, absolutely. All so, right. Once we've got that in there, we're going to add um, a bit of fresh juice to it. So we're going to go with British pear juice. Nice. 30 millilitres of this. So we can use the same, same measure, actually. Okay. There we go. Just leave it slightly short this time. So do you make cocktails at home at all? I never have. I make tea at home. Okay. So you make tea. What's your favourite tea, actually? Because we're going to use the uh, chamomile and lime flower infusion for this. I've had that. It's delicious. The tea I always have is English breakfast, but uh -huh. I like that sometimes before I go to bed. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Oh, what we've done is we've just made a pot of this, so we've poured boiling water onto the, the tea bags, left it to steep for a little while, and then we've, we've left it to go to room temperature, and then just popped it in the fridge to keep it nice and cool for when we were going to go and do it, actually. So we're going to add in 75 mils of this. This is a 50 mil measure. So we'll just put one and a half of these in. There's one. This is very good. And there's a half. Okay. This is very good, Andy. It's called an orchard moment. An orchard moment? Yes, indeed. Okay, fine. And I can't believe it doesn't take that long. I've always thought cocktails would take forever. Oh, no. Okay. No one we're doing it. Fantastic. So, um, what we need to do then is add in some ice. So you can take your spoon out to give you a bit of, uh, bit of room. Okay. And then throw in some ice. I'm going to go in there. Bit for you. Like Thank a touch, you. Touch more. Yes, I'm ice mad. There you go. Two lumps. There we go. Love it. That's it. Do you drink it like this? No. 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 Right. Take a straw and off you go. No, we're going to, it's a bit more complicated than that. We're going to use this. This is our Boston tin. Okay. Pop that on the top like that. Yeah. And then just give it a tap. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like that. There you go. Is that done? No, check, check, check. Yeah. It's on. It's fine. You're right. Now turn it upside down. So you don't want it to uh, fall down the different way. Well, there we go. Okay. The excitement is not over. Um, now we get to shake it. So shake it up and down. And look like you're enjoying it. Oh, you crazy enjoyment? boy! <laughs> I'm scared. Give it a shake. There we go. Okay. Take it apart. Let's give it a tap on the side. Do a hand. Yeah. Jolly. Nice. Lovely. There we go. Okay, now so, what am I doing? Oh, very simple. We're going to put our Hawthorne strainer on the top. Okay. Looks like this, the bit with the springy bit on. Okay, I don't have one of these at home, really? Andy. Yes, Seriously? I hate to break it to you. Happy what else can I use? Um, if you want, you can use a tea strainer. We're going to use that in a second anyway for the drink. So if you've got one of these lying around, you can use this uh, instead. Okay. There you go. Lovely. And then we're going to pour it through our tea strainer. Okay, into here. Indeed, yeah. So tea cocktails, tea strainer. I and love this it. Will just take all the bits out. Now, just to finish it off, to yeah. really bring out the aromatics, I'm just going to cut myself, not cut myself, I hope, um, because I'm going to be very careful with this uh, potato peeler. Yeah. And I'm just going to cut myself a nice lime zest. Okay. So, have a go with that. Okay. And all you need to do is, when you've got one, is just squeeze it over the top of the drink, like that. <laughs> Wait, I'll be with you in a minute. Take as long as you want. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Right, not a problem. Oh, so, did you? Look what you did! I know. He made a furl of lime. There we are, you see. Aren't so, you clever? There you go. So just squeeze that over your drink. Are you serious? Yeah, absolutely. Any oil 
on the top, well, yeah. So yeah. Like, you, you know you've got the oil out of the skin then, isn't it? Yeah. And then all you've got to do is twist it. So just twist it round like that. Okay. This is enormous fun. Drop it in your drink. Are you serious? Absolutely. Orchard moment. It's going to taste pretty good as well. Why is yours foamy? Cheers. I think I just shook it a bit harder than you did, but I've, I've, got I've foam had a bit envy. more, a bit more, <laughs> a bit more practice. Oh, amazing! Oh, I tell you what, that's a bit special. Oh, amazing! Oof. It's the tea. I tell you what, it, it must be absolutely. That's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Thank you so much, Andy, for sharing your brilliant cocktail tips. You can find both recipes on our website, twinings.co.uk. You will not be grumpy. They are delicious. <laughs>